I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Now unless you was on cloud 10 under a wrap How you heard the motherfucking word? What's good y'all, it's yours truly Once again, Heartbreak Ace If you familiar with my content or not Hit that like, comment, subscribe So the algorithm get his breaking content every time I upload the algorithm gonna hate. I gotta let y'all know. He don't be trying to get y'all these videos, man. He be mad for real because y'all always engaging. Y'all always watching. Y'all really love this shit. And I thank y'all for that. So you know the algorithm just have to be mad. He gonna have to be tight for real. I mean, cause other than my fans, I'm out for presidents to represent me. Get money. Presidents to represent me. Get money. Get your head time, algorithm. You better learn how to fight, man. <laughs> Nah, topic of discussion though, why we here? Uh, shout out to my guy DJ Academics. You already know, him and his live streams, he's addicted to it. Like a fiend on the block. But um, the topic at hand while we here is, we, we gonna discuss YFN Lucci, Young Thug, and Lil Baby. Why did I add Lil Baby to this equation when it should only be Lucci and Thug? Cause you know YSL Rico case that Young Thug is, is fighting it's kind of tied into the YFN Lucci case because you know he's alleged of killing Big Nut, which was YFN Lucci's mentor, manager, something like that. So that's kind of where the tension started. But why is Lil Baby involved? I mean, we already know. Doug already said whatever Wham say goes. Wham is Lil Baby. But why is he added to this case? Why did I say that? Let's spin the block. Somebody is playing out. Somebody, I don't know if he, he barely. Let me connect you down the line. He said somebody just threw him out of the car. Let me connect you to the ambulance. Huh? He not, he's still trying to fight for his life. EMS, what's the address of the emergency? Baby, can y'all please get an ambulance here? This man is dying. Toss that nigga like he was like, Toss that nigga like he was John Jones Jr. Nigga, what the fuck? He shot in the head. He just took his last breath, man. What street are you on, ma'am? Can you give breath, him the man. give him your location, please, for the Amos to give him give the guy some I help? Oh, uh, what is this address? Man, this man just man, took we, his last breath, man. Man, we have help on the way already. Tell me exactly what happened. We don't know. Rob. Me and my sister, we were just walking down the street, and somebody just rolled down the street with a man hanging out the car. They just pushed him out the truck and left him for dead. Ma'am, I thought you said he was shot in the head. Yes, he was shot in the head. They threw him out the car. He just died. He just took his last breath. We have the okay. ambulance already on the way, okay? Okay. Streets is a nasty place, man. Nasty, nasty place, dog. Okay. And can you tell me what kind of you going to get fired. Just stay on the phone. Can you tell me if you saw any of the people that were You know what I'm thinking now, chat? As as I hear that, if we go back to this footage, he's alive here. Yeah, I think I think it's this guy. Right? He might have got killed right here. No, no, he's still shooting. Oh, damn, he's still shooting. Well, I guess he went out like a gangster, right? Oh, but right here, he, he kind of like slumps over, right? Look, right here. Oh, and, and then his, you see his legs start dragging. Oh, I think he got shot right here, chat. Yeah, uh, honestly. God rest his soul, but uh, I think he got shot right there. Right when his, right when his his foot stop because I guess his foot is like on the little railing part. Right when his foot starts dragging on the ground, right there. Yeah, and I think they slow down here, and they they, they push him out, right there, and then they speed off. This might be the person who called. God damn. Fuck. Streets is cold, man. All right. Anyway. 
uh, wife and Lucci. He's actually, you know, he's he's getting off pretty good because Fonnie Willis is actually writing a letter. Which, by the way, here's here's another. This is the component that this is bringing up again. Remember, I told you that Fonnie Willis was accused of allegedly fucking Donovan Nut Thomas, right? So Donovan Nut Thomas, right? They were saying Fonnie was getting long dick by 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 him before he died, which means one of the reasons why she pursued charges on young thug is because yo you killed the nigga who's dicking me down pause right so like that was probably that was supposedly one of like this is backed up by certain accusation they said that she met with the the family of donovan nut thomas saying i promise i'm gonna get justice for you she had a picture of him supposedly in her office um, like she was hell bent on getting um, justice for Donovan Nut Thomas, which is pretty much the heart of this Rico case against Young Thug. And if you get to realize why they wanted to get YSL so bad because of the death of this, it would make sense that maybe this guy might have been fucking Fonnie Willis. Now, we don't know if that's true, but it, it doesn't help not fuel that rumor because here's the thing Fonnie Willis wrote a letter basically saying, Fonnie Willis. Um, Fonnie Willis, wait, where, where is it at? Oh, shit, sorry. Let me just go here. Fonnie Willis wrote a letter supporting wife and Lucci. Uh, wife and, uh, it just happened, wife and Lucci. Let me, let me find it. Look, think about it. Remember the video we just seen? That kind of looks like a real cold, ruthless video of you going to do a crime and by the way he got charged for murder for his own friend right y'all went to go do a shootout or maybe maybe but whatever y'all drove over there y'all had bad intentions y'all started shooting first your man gets shot your man gets shot and you pushed him like cold-bloodedly out of the vehicle and then guess what happens the da yfn lucci listen to this investigators say the hip-hop artist was behind the wheel of this mercedes maybach suv when cameras caught a shootout involving rival gangs channel 2's michael sidon live now in buckhead with that letter that's my boy mike could help michael with the rapper's early release Well, George, you may remember back in January, we reported on that negotiated plea for YFN Lucci. Well, today we got a chance to look at that letter. I also got a chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview with his high-profile attorney about what this letter means for the future of his client. We're asking for his release immediately. If he continues to take all the courses. I think it's Drew Finland. Yeah, this is Drew Finland right here. Baller. Top tier lawyers that he's um, that he's doing as we speak. It could be January of 2025. In an exclusive interview, powerhouse criminal defense attorney for the stars, Drew Fenling, shared the letter he recently received from Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis. Yeah, we're going to read that letter, the by the way. top prosecutor showed her support for the early release of his client. By the way, Chad, so, so this is we're going to read this letter, but this is why it's fueling more of the rumors. Think about it. They're not giving Young Thug no type of break. Right, we're on the third judge. They denied this thing all type of bond. Supposedly there was no favorable plea that he could have accepted. Remember, wife and Lucci is pretty pretty much getting a pretty decent plea. Pretty decent plea never went to trial at all. Not only that, the prosecutor, the prosecutor, the head prosecutor, Fonnie Willis, is writing a letter. We seen the video of the shootout. We just seen that. Nigga, that don't look like some shit that like, oh, he fucked up and did. Now nah, they went there to go spin and kill niggas. Instead of one of their niggas got killed. Fonnie Willis, the prosecutor, is writing a letter saying, nah, let him out, let him out. Why is she doing that? Well, perhaps the guy she was fucking that she cares about, Donovan Nut Thomas, he signed wife and Lucci. So really, if we're thinking about this gang war that's been like kind of like been played out through labels, right? It's, it, you know, you have sex, money, murder, but, but you know, obviously, um, family, bloods or whatever. Let's just think about wife and wife, right? YFN and YSL, she clearly seems to have a little bit more compassion for YFN. Remember, that whole case got closed with pretty much, uh, I don't know if it's fully closed yet, but like she gave everybody please, right? With with Young Thug, 
she trying to get them niggas to jail. Not only did she give the wife, then niggas please, she's writing compassionate letters. Yo, let him out. He's good. It's not a problem. We young thug? Fuck it. New judge, but we're not letting this nigga out. Again, remember, the guy she was allegedly to have been, had a relationship with is Donovan Nutt Thomas, who signed, um, who signed, uh, um, YFN Lucci and was in YFN. So when you think about it like that, it's kind of like, hmm, that's kind of fucking interesting, right? That's interesting. But anyway, we're going to read this later, but I mean, shit, we could kind of read it here, but this is from Fonnie Willis. You're going to see Fonnie T. Willis. She signed it. It says, uh, um, read the state position cons uh, concerning his parole eligibility. Dear members of the board, pursuant to the party's negotiated agreement, the state does not object to the defendant, Ray Sean Bennett, being released from Department of C Corrections the first time he becomes eligible for parole or after serving one third of his prison sentence. Huh? Make this make sense, chat. The DA who seems who remember Fonnie Willis came and said that she gonna lock up all these gangs in Atlanta. Now she's writing a letter saying, ah, oh, just let him by the way, we gave him a plea. We negotiated a pretty good plea for him. We're now telling the parole board, ah, oh, he could serve one third of that. That kind of sounded a little bit odd, right? All right. We don't care. So it, once he becomes eligible for parole or after serving one third of his sentence, what whatever come first. Jesus. This recommendation by the state is conditioned upon the defense compliance. Now, that's a very interesting word. Compliance. Usually that could mean snitching, but he's not snitching. So with the lawful authority of all direction of correctional personnel and having no incidents of any kind, the facility in which he's being housed while in the custody of the uh, Department of Direction. Correction. Fenna Lucci bought a new white Maybach, a Maybach truck, okay, that GLS 600, okay? And he got a bunch of his goons with him and while trying to joyride, enjoy the vehicle, right? Like flex, stunt, this and third, they wanted to show people they wasn't pussy. So they drove supposedly in the area where their ops are. I know everybody thinks that YFN and YSL were beefing. YFN supposedly is a part of, I think, Inglewood Mafia family or Inglewood something family. I can't remember the, the exact term, but it, it, it's another group of gang members that YFN is like a, a part of. Just like how they say sex, money, murder is the blood gang that YSL forms up under. So anyway, um, supposedly... And we all thought that, oh, no, he, he went sliding on thug. That's what probably happened. Apparently, that's not even the case. So this is word on the streets, and I guess, like, I think it's now come out officially. Wife and Lucci and his guys drove through a hood and supposedly targeted a guy who's full PF. Yes, one of the little baby's homies, okay? So one of his homies was targeted, and, and I'm going to show you the video in a second. And essentially what happened in a car that cost in excess of $220,000 was a shootout which involved people. Wife and Lucci, keep in mind, is the driver. He's the driver in this whole thing, right? But you're going to see people hop out of the right passenger side and also the back passenger side. And they're going to start shooting at people on that street. And what subsequently happens is that return fire happens. And one guy, the guy who hopped out right behind wife and Lucci, he shot through the head. So he gets instantly killed. But I guess rigor mortis ain't sitting yet because I guess he was holding on to the car as he hopped out to shoot. He gets instantly annihilated. He gets like he gets done like no disrespect to him and his family. Uh, but he gets done like that sniper for Trump. Shot through the head, he's dead. But he's holding on to the car. And um, obviously, Lucci ain't know that yet. But come on, man, you can't be bleeding under me. You can't. <laughs> your, your brains can't. Your, your brain and the plasma can't be spilling on the Maybach interior. And essentially, they donkey kicked that nigga out of there. They said, get the fuck out of here, nigga. You dead. Who? <laughs> we got to go to the detailing shop and... Apparently, all took it, 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 this is how much I don't know. Maybe I'm bougie or something like that. Look at this dusty fucking street that you chose to go bring you and your shooters to to have a shootout out of a Maybach. Anyway, let me play the video here. I'm gonna pause it a couple times. It is available on my Twitter and on my Instagram. If you want to see it uninterrupted, you know I'm gonna pause it one. So 
here we go. There's no audio, but uh, first and foremost, let's kind of describe it in detail. There's a guy here in a white and in a yellow shirt. Tell me if I'm colorblind or not. Look like he's cleaning the car. You see an SUV pulls up. I got to imagine this is a friendly because I'm going to be honest with you. A tinted SUV pulling up on any block, especially in front of you. Uh, you might want to get the fuck out of Dodge, right? Especially if they don't immediately put down their window and greet you friendly, right? You could imagine that only bullshit will happen. Anyway, the dude keeps like, uh, I'm washing his car. You see two other individuals over here. By the way, just to let y'all know, this is not Cleveland Avenue. By the way, why does Atlanta look so fucking dusty? <laughs> Atlanta. Is it, I know this is not the, the peak parts of Atlanta, but which part of Atlanta is this? This shit look dusty as fuck. Come on, Atlanta. Y'all got to step it up. Anyway. Dude's doing his thing, and these guys doing their thing, and then you're going to see what happens here. You're going to see a car pull up. It's a white Maybach truck. Uh, we're going to see it here. So the Maybach pulls up here, chat. That's the trenches. That's the west side. Okay. Well, little baby got to get his niggas out of poverty. Little baby, if your niggas is living here while you have 35 cars and you have 15 Rolls Royces, it makes no goddamn sense, all right? Anyway, let me just keep it going. So a Maybach truck pulls up. Now, I don't know who necessarily, like, from what I hear, they, they they ride through this hood, and either this guy or one of these two guys is identified as somebody from faux PF. Now, allegedly, there is a beef, or maybe some, I don't know if it's a beef with faux PF, but beef with that guy. You know, I guess faux PF is just a bigger name. I don't want to put falsehood into the air. So maybe YFN don't have a beef with faux PF, but he had a beef with that nigga from faux PF, all right? Anyway... Uh, the Maybach just drives through, okay? You can see the window and the back window here a little bit down. This guy's wondering what the fuck is going on. These guys are probably also like, what the fuck? By the way, they could probably see it's a very expensive car driving through the trenches. By the way, if you also don't see, let me scroll up right here. This happened in 2020, and also this is at 5.15 p.m. So, you know what I mean? This is broad daylight pretty much, right? Now, you're going to see another car that's following the um the suv here and from what we could surmise look like look like this car is with wife and lucci now wife and lucci driving this white car right here so this car behind him i gotta imagine that's some more of his homies i don't know if they intended from, from the story i've heard from these block legends in atlanta he didn't they didn't get in the car and say let's go shoot up like this op block by the way this block is not a friendly block for wife and lucci and his gang now, apparently, they weren't going to, like, that wasn't the plan, but you can imagine, half these niggas off perks, all they do is twitch and, like, act like they're about, like, these guys are damn near overdosing off some type of drug. No disrespect to these guys, but come on now. So, they're get, they're in the car, they're, they're sipping the lean, popping the perks, eating the Zans, whatever the fuck they're doing, snorting the Tusi or whatever the fuck they're doing, um, and essentially, they're feeling so goddamn good, probably bumping the music. They're like, man, fuck this. Let's just go to the ops block, right? Stupid, but they probably realize a bunch of them got guns. They're like, yo, we could at least, we could at least tell these niggas that we slid through their block at midday, or not midday, but, but like five o'clock. Anyway, it looks like this car is with this car. They drive over, right? I think I'm accurate with that. This car is with this car, right? And they just drive through. You see both of these guys here. Their 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 full attention is on this white Maybach. Right now, I gotta imagine when that window is down in the back seat. Keep in mind, from what we know, there's at least two passengers with wife and Lucci. He's driving. There's a guy in, in in the front passenger side and one guy in the back behind him. But there could have been another person in the in the back uh, um, passenger side, right? The back passenger side because there's one in the back driver side. Anyway. So there could have been four people, but the back windows were down, which means I could imagine them niggas probably shouted something like, niggas, yeah, well, this is Atlanta. I don't know if they say suck my dick in Atlanta, right? Which I hate that term because you should never invite niggas to suck your penis. But anyway, and I know I'm I'm, I'm, I'm speaking fast, chat, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm actually not off uh, coffee at all. But I'm just trying to get through this. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much I'm pretty much sure they said something, right? The back windows are down. Like, if it would, they were just on a shoot mission, they would have probably just shot immediately right there. Uh, but they probably said some shit. You know what I'm saying? The cars kind of go up. You see this car here. Both of these guys here are, are, are paying attention. This guy who was over here, he kind of approaches, which that leads me to believe that something was said. Something must have been said from the guys in the car. This guy is focusing his attention on either this guy or over here. And then the cars don't stop. 
okay now you're gonna see this takes a different it's it's actually gonna turn into two videos because there's another surveillance footage from from up the road okay uh here we go here we go so the other footage is here now i'm gonna make this a little bit small that you can see the whole thing all right but but big enough that you could see both okay cool so here, so this one here, this is the second footage right here. And the the Maybach pulls up and comes to a complete stop. Now you could kind of still see this window down, right? This other car that was behind it, they pull up right next to it, right? They pull up right next to it a little bit in front. And what now ensues, I guess, you know what I mean? I don't know if what that conversation must have been. I'm guessing that they shouted something to these guys over here. These guys over here. And I might be tripping. Is this a person too? Remember the other guy that was in like a blue or blue color like clothes? He's already walked over. Like he's almost approaching. Right? Even though they're down the street, which is here. Uh, anyway, for whatever reason, Lucci stops. Now, granted, Lucci is the driver. Right? This other car stops too. Right now, uh, they, they actually kind of continue. This car kind of continues after they realize whatever. Anyway, you see a guy come out of here. And, and let me make this a little bit bigger now. Now that we're focusing on this angle. And by the way, this is simultaneously. So if, if you see 5, 15, 35 seconds, uh, do we have time on this one? Oh, you don't. We don't see time on this one. Okay. So you see a guy pop out. And I believe this is a guy who got killed, I believe. So the guy in the back passenger side, I believe he got killed. So he pulls out. This looks like a, a rifle. Got a little Draco on him. You got to have a handy dandy Draco up in goddamn Atlanta, right? You can't run Cleveland Avenue with no goddamn, uh, uh, with no goddamn high point, no no goddamn Hellcat uh, pistol. You got to have a handy dandy Draco to make sure you really patrolling the blocks, making sure niggas actually respecting your gangster. And yeah, he hops out. And it, it, this is kind of interesting. I don't know if he's still got his seatbelt on because Lucci's starting to drive off. When Lucci hears him firing a shot, Lucci ain't just standing still. Lucci's like taking his foot off the brake and the car is starting to roll a little bit. So he's kind of hanging out. This nigga got to think he's John Wick or something or this is actual GTA because he's hanging out the car this way, shooting that way, right? And the car is going that way, right? So he's shooting. The door kind of swings open because Lucci kind of stops a bit. And by the way, I guess the other guy who's in a passenger seat up front with Lucci saying, nigga, let me out, nigga. I got to bust my guns too. What the fuck? Like, nigga, we, yo, we came in to, we came in to shoot a op. So this nigga hops out. He got his Draco. He got his Draco here, right? Lucci's over here probably just like ducking down as he should, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Lucci, Lucci's probably thinking like, fuck, insurance about to go sky high on my goddamn Maybach. Because what you're going to see is when the gunshots get fired, and let's rewind a little bit, right? So this is when th the guy opens the door. You're going to see this. By the way, the, the, the guy who's in Lucci's car in the back passenger seat, he's the one who fires first. Remember, they're just looking at the car here. This guy who looks like he was in, in this black SUV hops out. And instantly when this door opens, and I guess he sees the gun, you see this guy with his hand raised. You see him right here? Guy right here, hand raised. He's doing return fire. By the way, if you wonder why nobody on this block was charged, whether they use an illegal gun or not, we also got to think about Atlanta and Georgia laws. There, that's 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 prototypical self-defense. A nigga came through your block, jumped out the car with the weapon. You have all right to defend yourself. And by the way, we've never heard of. By the way, I don't think nobody got hit on this block, and none of these guys got charged neither. They identified all the niggas. That's how people found out later it was a four PF dude allegedly. Uh, they identified these dudes that were here, but they didn't get charged and. Good, good, they shouldn't get charged. Like, nigga, drive through your block in a Maybach and just start hopping out and shooting like this is GTA. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> you think you about to put a cheat in and fix the car back afterwards? What the fuck are you thinking you're doing? Anyway, so this guy starts busting, right? Now, this guy right here, he was just trying to, you know, 
He's over here just trying to wax his car. He's over here ducking. The other guy runs. This guy right here, he peels out. Fuck that. Fuck that. He runs. Right? This guy is shooting. He ducks down behind this car. Right? Now, if we look at what's going on here, this guy, and we're going to start, you see the muzzle flash right there. So he's firing. He's firing probably 5.56 five, five, or 2.23 two, uh, two, two, round. No, no, I should have said 7.62 if, if this is Draco, ain't it? Because it's, it's a it's a um, AK-47, just like a cutoff. Bang. All right. All right. You see this guy fire as well. Now, this is where I think he either gets hit or something. This is kind of like, it's interesting and odd. Because um, I think if I read the, the report right, they said the guy was in the back passenger. Uh, the, he was in the back seat that got kicked out the car. I think he gets hit here, which, by the way, I think, you know, unfortunately, Lucci got to thank God, because if he's sitting behind Lucci and somehow he gets shot in the head, remember, Lucci's a driver. Lucci could have got shot in the head, right? So maybe him taking the headshot was could have really been the headshot for for um, um, Lucci. Like, I know this sounds grim, but it is what it is. OK, cool. By the way, thank you for the sub, by the way. All right, and, and the only reason why I think this is the guy who gets killed is that Lucci starts realizing these niggas is popping back. These niggas shooting back. He's trying to get out of there. This guy never actually closes the door before the video ends with this. Like, you never see it. Like, and it looks like he's almost falling right here. He's look, you see it? Right here. Like, he's sitting kind of awkward, and the door, the door is just kind of going back and forth. It's like Lucci kind of realized something happening. You know, the door would only go back and forth as if Lucci's pressing the gas and the brake because the, do the door is swinging basically on air and, and um, just momentum. And yeah, it, it slows down and then you see speed up and then we don't get another angle. The, the, other, the other angle is here, but you don't see Lucci's vehicle at all. This guy is now hiding behind, I don't know if this is a, a, a suburban or something like that. But the shooting looked like it's done because he he could he would have just should have stayed back back here. He came over here. This guy right here looked like yo shit. Good thing he wasn't shooting at Trump. This nigga looked like he was a marksman. <laughs> I don't know if this is the full PF dude, but this nigga looked like he was a marksman, gang. <laughs> All right, yeah, and he, and to keep it real, yeah, this nigga wasn't he wasn't scared of shit. After he did the shootout, looked like he was going back to minding his business. He didn't care. Like, after a shootout, I would imagine you run into the house. You run out the street. These niggas is like, all right, back to business. So, yeah, this is a guy right here. And there's another guy right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's another guy right there. If you look right here, there's going to be a guy. Right here. Look right here. You see, you see something. So, someone ran right there. Yeah, yeah. Someone ran like right there. All right. Anyway, um, I think there was pictures of uh, his Maybach shot up. Uh, here we go. Lucci Maybach, uh, or maybe it wasn't the Maybach shot up. It was just him purchasing the car. This was supposedly he was gifted the first 2021 Maybach SUV by his label boss. Who the fuck was his label boss? Yeah. He says, thanks for the Maybach. Yo, niggas. All right, y'all, we back. Spin the block one time. Hope y'all ain't dizzy, but if you is, I get it. Cause you know I like to swerve a whole lot. Now, I'm gonna say this. It's a lot to break down in that segment. Now, one of the first things I can break down with it is, it's not really a coincidence that the guy they was shooting at, which is the one that killed uh, Lucci's friend, cause he was shooting back in retaliation of them shooting at him, was 4PF. 4PF, we all know that's Lil Baby. Lil Baby, and Young Thug are like this. Like I said earlier, whatever Wham said goes, that came out of Young Thug's mouth. 
Whammy's little baby. Young Thug had a beef with Big Nut, the one that he's alleged of getting killed. Right? That's not a coincidence. All of them are tied in together. Why found Lucci on the block with his homies? He beefing with 4PF, which is Little Baby's clique. And Little Baby is cool with Young Thug. Young Thug and Lucci is beefing because of Big Nut. They go on the block, shoot at the dude, 4PF dude. The 4PF dude actually end up winning the shootout on some Western shit. The nigga hanging out the window on some Grand Theft Auto shit. He gets clapped. And you see, well, I can't show it on YouTube, but he's dragging. He's he's dead. He's shooting, but he still busts back. He shot till he died. And of course, you already know it's not alleged because it's on 4K camera. YFM Lucci throws the dead friend out the window. And of course, the, the bystanders report it, which is some women. That's not that's not a coincidence. It's safe to say. Lucci click is beefing with Young Thug and Lil Baby. They're all in Atlanta. Now, if I can connect them those dots, you gotta know that the feds and all everybody connecting those dots. Now, the other part of this segment that you gotta mention is Fanny Willis is trying everything in her power to get Lucci out. Lucci was like Big Nut, little homie. He was managing him. Big Nut had a sexual relation with Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis is the one that got this YSL Rico case on Thug. Everything is alleged for Thug. He basically, they want him to rot in jail. Fannie Willis want him to rot in jail for calling the shots, so to speak. It is no video or anything, no type of evidence of Young Thug doing any kind of illegal acts. The only illegal thing they got on Young Thug is when they actually arrested him for this YSL Rico case and they found guns and drugs in the house. Other than that, they don't have anything on Thug. But here's Shay. Shay. And Woody the Woodpecker, negative 50 IQ. My shoulders. I can't. <laughs> you already know this this dumb nigga. It's easy to see. He ain't got caught doing no type of murders, nothing illegal. They just going off because he's the he is the head honcho of YSL. So they just looking at it. That's why they got him on the Rico case. But on the other hand of Lucci, she's writing a letter to help him get out by January of 2025 to do one third of his sentence. When he's on 4K camera in a shootout, he comes to he initiate the shit because he go to the op block, which is the 4PF little baby block, young thugs homies. He goes to the block. They show the shootout. They also got it when he threw the the, the dead homie out of the car. Everything's cut on camera, but she's going out of her way to make sure he got out early. And like I said, she had a relationship, a sexual relationship with Big Nut. Big Nut is was managing and mentoring Lucci. If you caught him on camera, you trying to clean up Atlanta and get all these people that's doing all these bad things out of Atlanta and locked up forever. But the person that you trying to help get a party, he on camera doing some shit that you trying to stop in Atlanta. You don't have no camera evidence of Young Thug but you trying to get him to write in jail. And that's why I say, and before I even speak on this, yo, like, you know what I mean? You keep it in the streets or let God decide. I, I don't really care about the uh, the, district, the justice system because it's always, it's one-sided. Trust and believe. It's for whatever ben benefits them and that's what they're gonna go with. You think you be beating the feds, you ain't ever beat the feds. If you beat the feds, it's because, like I said, it benefits them in whatever they go with, even if they lose the case. It was in their best interest to lose that case. Trust and believe it. The system is tied like that. Now, 
me saying that if he get out, he get out. I'm not wishing jail on nobody. I'm not wishing him to stay in jail or none of that because that's him and Young Thug's beef. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. I don't have nothing to do with him, little baby, none of that. So I'm not wishing him to stay in jail. However, man, we got to call a spade a spade. Young Thug can't even get a bail and he ain't caught doing nothing. But you trying to get Lucci to get out when he caught on camera in a shootout that his side initiated in a brand new motherfucking Maybach he just got. Didn't even have to call five hours. Literally. And you trying to help him get out, but you trying to make Young Thug right in jail. And you don't really got, you don't got no uh, footage or anything on him. Not only that, they went from Granfield, the first judge, the black guy, then they went to the other woman. She had to get out of the case because she had a relationship with one of the YSL people. So now they got the new judge. The white woman. A Paige, Paige Whitaker, that's her name. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Miss Paige Whitaker. And and that's why, man, this, this, this shit is messy. And I think they dropped the ball on this. Fannie Willis dropped the ball on this. She trying to go against Young Thug. She trying to go against Trump. And if you don't know, Trump get ready to win the election again. And you got to know he got people uh, digging up all her dirt. I think she fighting some battles that she can't win. I think she, like a lot of, most women, she use her emotion in this situation. And it's about to come and bite her in the ass. Literally. Like, I think Thug going to do a little bit more time, like I said. He probably do the same amount of time that Lucci did, which is about three years, locked up. And I think when this case is all said and done, they're going to get him, it's going to be dismissed, time served, something like that, or he going to be on, like, probation or some shit like that. I could be wrong, and I hope I'm not, but I don't think he's going to do past five years for this. I just don't. I really feel like he's going to do three, maybe. I feel like he'll be home by the end of next year. And I could be wrong. But if you look at all the contest clues in this, it's, it's messy, man. And, and that's why I don't... What we voting for? Because we got to do better than this, man. We can't choose sides and, and let people get away with whatever they're going to get away with, man. We got to be real with this shit, man. And we got to we gotta build this world to something better than this, bro. I'm tired of seeing the same thing. People that so-called run the world and all of that. Because we stuck in the same narrative. We got to get out of the box. And we got to change. We supposed to be woke people. So we need to act as such. The genuine key is to love each other. Genuinely. And everything going to work out. We designed to love each other. That love makes the energy of creative minds. And when we create, we build and change the world. That's what we're here for. But, you know, that's just how I feel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Um, you know, this world keeps showing me every day. And showing y'all what I always say. Love each other. Till next time. It's yours truly. Heartbreak.